Okay, so we'll just briefly, because because like I said, as we go through the uh, the next manual is going to have expanded on all this stuff. But I want to get into some real basic definitions of what hypnosis is. So if I were to ask you, with what you knew before you came here today, and maybe what you've already heard, uh, if I was to ask you what is hypnosis, how would you describe it? This is a good way to explain it to people. All, all of these elements, by the way, are a part of intentionally hypnotizing someone that comes to you for help, right? Because again, they're coming for something, help with something, mm -hmm. right? And for our purposes of intentionally hypnotizing someone, it's gonna most likely uh, include getting them to relax. Mm -hmm. And these are ways we can help them to understand that it is a normal, it's a natural state, it's an everyday occurrence. Um, and in here, in, in intentional hypnosis, we're going to produce it through using hypnotic suggestive language, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this, in, when we get into really getting into more expanding on what hypnosis really is, well, one thing you could say hypnosis is, is it's a field of study, right? You could use it as a noun. Mm -hmm. It's a field of study. It's a science. Uh, I just added the word science to the title, the subtitle of the hypnosis certification. I don't know if you noticed. It, it's always been the art and practice of hypnosis. I added the art, science, and practice of hypnosis because I want to start bringing in more. And I have been, but I want to even more so bring in more of the science behind what's going on because we have more information about that now. And I'm getting things every day almost from somebody going, wow, there's another piece that I can, you know, here's, here's some science that's behind it pretty cool. So for our purposes it includes this, but when we get into what hypnosis is as a state, you know, then to get into a state of hypnosis there's many ways. One way is to come to a hypnotist and through suggestive language and whatever communication, you know, and relaxation to you get into that state. You could call it, you could say hypnosis is a brainwave state. We're going to talk more about that tomorrow. There's a certain brainwave activity that's happening when you go into what we call the hypnotic state, right? That's one way to describe it. Another way to go into hypnosis unintentionally is through trauma. Instant hypnosis happens through trauma. So some of the definitions that, that we're going to be expanding on when we get into um, actually, uh, Sunday's video will will have some of this. It will expand on it because George Bend is really he's really good at doing videos, and he's got a nice video that gets into some definitions. And one of the definitions I know has the phrase in it somewhere that says it's an emotionalized desire to respond or to act on the suggestion. The emotionalized desire. So when someone has a traumatic experience, you know, talk about emotion, right? This is, like I said, this is unintentional. But if we can get that emotion involved when we're intentionally wanting them to achieve something, it enhances the ability to make that change happen. So an emotionalized desire, that's another way to think about hypnosis. The more I used to, when I first started, I, I always knew that the more somebody wanted something, the better the results were in the session. So I always used to tell people, the more passionate you are about what you're asking me to help you with. And, and I say silly things like, I picture your unconscious in there, you know, getting just as excited as you are. But if you just say, oh, you know, it'd be kind of nice if I could lose a few pounds. You know, that's about how excited your unconscious is. It's like, oh yeah, this is really a big deal, whoopee, right? But if you get passionate and excited, and kick up the volume of the of the emotion. Now, and in hypnosis, we can do that while they're relaxed, because we can start bringing in elements that can enhance the emotional connection to what they're imagining, what they're what they're thinking about, the suggestions you're offering, and that makes it more powerful. Yeah.